Welcome to Wilson Art Adhesives. For over 40 years, Wilson Art Adhesives has been a pioneer and innovator in the development of contact and PVA adhesives. Wilson Art has assisted fabricators with specifically formulated adhesives designed to work well with Wilson Art laminate and other surfacing products. Today, we will demonstrate Wilson Art H2O Bulk Spray, brush or roller grade contact adhesive. We will illustrate the proper load, coverage, and open time of this adhesive then show proper ways of applying adequate pressure when bonding high pressure decorative laminate to a substrate. Always start with the proper equipment, so check the technical data sheet for product specific recommendations. For this video segment, we are using a 2.5 gallon pressure tank equipped with gauges and hoses. We are using a tank liner to protect the inside of the tank and to make adhesive changeouts and cleaning easier on the fabricator. Be sure to secure the lid to the tank prior to pressurizing tank with air hose. As always, well cleaned and maintained equipment is vital to getting the most from your adhesive. We reference the technical data sheet for this demonstration to identify what our fluid line pressure gauge should be set at 10 to 15 psi with atomizing air pressure of 16 to 30. We can also note what type of adhesive gun and fluid tip cap assemblies are suggested, which is very crucial in allowing for a correct load. 3.0 dry grams per square foot minimum for each surface. Good atomization is needed to create mating sites on each surface. After proper setup, it's time to apply adhesive. Using a parallel line to the components approximately 10 to 12 inches above the surface, apply adhesive at a medium rate of left to right steady movement. Be sure not to fluctuate up and down from the surface, as this can cause inconsistency in the adhesive coverage. Overlap your pattern approximately a quarter of your overall spray fan pattern. Be careful to apply adequate adhesives on the edges. Cross your pattern once you are complete with your first passes. If you are going right to left, go up and down. Be sure to apply a good crossing pattern, which will apply a good load and coverage. Another option is to apply in the same direction, once again overlapping the spray pattern. Poor spray techniques or wrong equipment settings can result in irregular amounts of adhesive, which will cause issues with proper bonding. Sudden stops, being too close to the component, slow speed can cause excessive amounts of adhesive to build up, causing an extended open time in that area. If applied still wet, an adequate bond will not occur, indicating that excessive humidity is too high and may require extended dry time. Dry time is 20 to 30 minutes, or 8 to 10 minutes using force air. This will provide time for the water to flash off after adhesive is applied to surfaces and prior to the open time beginning. The parts will turn clear when ready to bond. The open time, 60 minutes, is very important. This is the window of time that begins when an adhesive is applied to the substrate and ends when the laminate is applied to make an easy assembly. If the open time is exceeded, 60 minutes, reapply a light coat of adhesive to reactivate. Temperature and humidity affect open time. Correct pressure is a must. If you can't use a set pinch roller, hand pressure should only be applied using a 3-inch J-roller. 30 to 40 PSI is required to mate both surfaces. Blocks of wood, rubber mallets, and incorrect roller configurations are not sufficient. If the applied pressure is too low, this can cause bond failure, so make sure to apply sufficient pressure. For cleaning overspray on the laminate, we recommend Wilson Art 121 Cleaner. This cleaner will remove dried overspray and leave a clean surface.